Hello everybody. I'm doing, yeah, you can see Misfit in the background. I'm doing landslides and avalanches today because I think they're pretty closely related. Avalanches, to me, kind of almost the same as a landslide, just snow instead of debris, ground debris. They're both dangerous and for avalanches, I had to try a while to find the right statistics because apparently there are sports teams named Avalanche and it's also a name of a Bitcoin. So I had to look for specifically weather related avalanche stuff, but yeah. In the U.S. 2024 season, the winter we just had, <clears throat> burp, excuse me, well, not just had, it's been a while, it's fall now, but there were 16 U.S. fatalities, <clears throat> and most of those were skiers, apparently, and then yeah, seven skiers, four snowshoer slash climber slash hiker, three snowmobilers, one snowboarder, and one other. I don't know what else there is, but I don't know. And, um, let's see, that was Idaho, Utah, Washington, Montana, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, Colorado, and Wyoming. Oh, one in California. Yeah. Two were in the Utah one, and not everyone died for some of those. There were more people, but some survived. Um, the two down in Utah, there were three total. One was partially buried and injured. The other two died. Because, yeah. I would not want to be caught in an avalanche. Or a mudslide, but we'll get to the landslides in a minute. And. Yeah. And. The 16 dying this past winter is down from the winter before when there were 30 deaths here in the U.S. And pretty much all the same states mentioned. You know, Montana. Montana. Was it? Yeah, there was one in Montana last time too. But yeah, the same states pretty much, obviously. And yeah, the statistics also said on average around 100 at least 150 on average die each year from avalanches. And I just mentioned US ones. In Europe, last winter, there were 70 fatalities. 11 in Austria, 2 in Finland, 13 in France, 1 in Germany, 12 in Italy, 4 in Norway, 2 in Poland, 2 in Romania, Two in Slovakia, two in Spain, and 19 in Switzerland. So yeah, Switzerland won, if you can call it that. They had the most deaths. And it looks like most of them were all skiers. Well, the Austria was mountaineering slash climbing, as was Slovakia and some in Italy. Yeah. It looks yeah, it looks like skiing again is the most. So skiing is most likely to get you killed in an avalanche. That's but you gotta understand that's a very small amount compared to how many skiers there are. And yeah. and because, like, when you get buried in the avalanche, my this is my guess because I don't know what it's like to be trapped in the avalanche. 
But if you get turned around, like you're buried in snow, your mouth is fine. And you can like push snow away if you can, if you're able to like try and dig out. You might not know which way is up. Yeah. And so that you can run out of energy and air before you figure out how to get up out of there. Because like I said, if, if you're spinning around and it, the avalanche is moving you, you can actually be upside down but think you're normal. And like I said, not know how the digital surface. That's my opinion. I haven't looked into that yet. And so now let's go to let's see. Oh, I didn't click on the why is it not clicking on the lens like data? Yeah. It was easier to find worldwide landslide data quicker. Let's see. This is, can I sort this by date? <sighs> okay, let's go last year. Only how many mudslides were last year? I did see a documentary on the Oso mudslide, landslide, whatever in Oh, I'm talking, was it 2018? Okay, come on, it's okay, Misfit. You can be in my lap. I'm okay. I'm okay with you being in my lap. It's fine. No, is it not? Okay, it's not showing anything. Maybe there weren't any last year. What well, about 22? Uh, yeah, there was one in Puerto Rico, it looks like, I think. Well, no, it's just saying it's a... <sighs> Why are you not... Maybe that's the way I want to go. Hmm. All right, let's look at this. This is from 2018, an overview of large... Uh, yeah. Oh, the Oso mudslide was in 2014. March 2014. Okay. In Oso, Washington. That was a death toll of 43 people. In a La Conchita landslide in California in 1995, it killed 10 people. Uh, and let me see. What didn't okay? Is there other ones? Well, that's all it gets. Well, that's really not that much. Come on, give me better info. Let's go up here. Uh, maybe this one will. This link on the USGS website will give me something. Come on. Okay, there was one in Alaska on August 7th. It said, okay, a landslide pr produced a tsunami in Peterson Lagoon, southwest of Seward, Alaska, on Wednesday, August 7th, 2024. Okay, this was. Do you see? Yeah. Okay, well, that just says the Dixie burn area. Well, where after fire? Oh, yeah, fires that's when palms landslides usually can come after a bad fire because the plants are holding the ground together, the roots and stuff, and they die and they don't do it anymore. And then a lot of debris flows in Columbia River Gorge here in Oregon in January of 2021 and 2022 because they had way too much rain. 
and let's see the yeah, another one in July 2021 in Colorado again the fire and then massive rain is a perfect recipe for a landslide disaster all these okay hmm Others that aren't. Yeah. I know. South America also gets them, but. Let's see. Mm. There was a one to remember. This. Um. Okay, is this going to give me more information? Come on. I'm really sorry, people. I don't know why all of a sudden it's so hard to find information. Okay, here we go. This is Catastrophic Landslides of the 20th Century, and it's worldwide. Okay. In 1911, this one, the Tadzik Republic, which is formerly USSR, 54 killed. Um, a, it destroyed a whole village. It looks like that was caused by a 7.4 earthquake. Let's see. And then in 1990, one in Indonesia, and in parentheses it says Java, uh, Lahars. Okay, it was a lot. I figured we see Laharas, which are, as it says, volcanic mud flows. I figured you see some Laharas mentioned. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that actually was caused by a volcano. And 5,110 people killed. And oh, you just want attention, don't you, Miss? Yes, you do. Okay, okay. Oh, and. 104 villages destroyed or damaged. Oh, they had a crater lake there as well. And it drained it out, I guess. Didn't help. Then in 1920, in China, an earthquake caused one that killed around 100,000. They don't know how many villages were destroyed. Just as many. And is it the landslides created more than forty lakes there? Okay. And Kazakh Republic. Maybe that was what was one time Kazakhstan. Or maybe it's Kazakhstan now. I don't know. But yeah, formerly USSR in nineteen twenty one. And it was. Massive snow m melting. Too much melting at once, and that was 500 people killed. Then in 1933, China caused by another earthquake. 6,800 people killed by the landslides directly. 2,500 drowned when land landslide dam failed. Nineteen thirty-nine in Japan, caused by heavy rain. Five hundred and five dead slash missing. One hundred three thousand homes destroyed or badly damaged. Okay. Oh, and. It goes in more detail. The heavy rain, it was a major typhoon. I don't know why they didn't say that in the cause. And then in 1949, back to Tadzik Republic, another, this time a 7.5 earthquake. And it's 12,000 to 20,000 killed or missing. 33 villages destroyed. 1953, back to Japan, another major typhoon, 460 dead slash missing, 
4,722 homes destroyed. Also in 1953, another one, and this looks like it was, it was also, oh, there was, yeah, another typhoon, it must have been the same typhoon, and 336 dead slash missing, 5,122 homes destroyed, but, I don't know why they couldn't combine them, because I'm pretty sure it must have been the same storm. Not necessarily, though. It could be different. And 1958 is still Japan. Another typhoon. And 1,094 dead slash missing. 19,754 homes destroyed or damaged. Badly damaged. 1962, we hop over to South America and Peru. It was, well, it doesn't, they don't know what caused it. Doesn't say it was an earthquake or anything. That's interesting. Um, and four to 5,000 killed. Most of the village of Ran Rahirka was destroyed. In 1963, there was one in Italy, and they don't know what caused it. 2,000 died. The city of Longarone, badly damaged. Total damage, it looks like in the amount there, in American dollars, 200 million. Yeah, and that's not adjusted for inflation. That's how much it was then, I guess. We had, here in the U.S., one in Alaska in 1964. And it was an earthquake. And it doesn't say anyone died, it looks like. Which is good. But there were... Made, your damage in the cities of Anchorage, Valdez, Whittier, and Seward. $280 million worth of damages was what happened. 1965, back to China. Still don't know what caused it, either. Four villages were destroyed, apparently, with 444 dead. Wow. You didn't have four so much there. Four villages and four... 44 dead. Weird. 1966, Brazil. And it just says heavy rain, so it could be like a monsoon, typhoon type thing. And 1,000 people died. Still in Brazil for 1967, same cause. And 1,700 dead this time. 1970, Peru. Caused by a 7.7 .7 earthquake. 18,000 dead. That Peruvian village I mentioned earlier was partially destroyed again. And the town of Yungay was totally destroyed. Still in Peru for 1974. It, they're not sure the cause. They say rainfall, question mark, river erosion, question mark. So, and the Mayun Marca village was destroyed. 450 people killed. 1980, oh, Mount St. Helens. I also saw the documentary, one of the documentaries about Mount St. Helens. Hmm. Only 5 to 10 Died because of the landslides. It was. There's so many ways to die in a volcano. None of them are good. And in 83, in Utah, there was one caused, it said, by snow melt and heavy rain. No deaths. Six hundred million dollars worth of damage. It said half of that was direct losses, half of that was indirect losses, all the damage. 
Back to China for 1983. No idea the cause. 270 dead. Buried, it buried four villages. They just boom. Yeah. See, in that way, I think a landslide is worse than avalanche because snow is a little bit more malleable. But landslide, it's like the mud. It's, well, like when Han Solo was encased in carbonite or whatever it was, it's like that. You're, you're done. It's like just being buried in cement, concrete, whatever. You're, you're done. And they mentioned the one in Colombia in 1985. Volcanic eruption caused it. More than 20,000 people died. Oh, and there's a note. Death toll unnecessarily large because hazard warnings were not passed to the residents. Nineteen eighty six with Papua New Guinea and that was a seven point one earthquake. It doesn't look like anyone died. There they evacuated in time. Nineteen eighty seven was Ecuador and it was an earthquake. Oh two major earthquakes. One six point one and one six point nine. A thousand people died. Nineteen ninety four Columbia again, a six point four earthquake. Two hundred seventy one dead, seventeen hundred missing, hundred and fifty eight injured, twelve thousand displaced. Nineteen ninety eight was Honduras, Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador due to Hurricane Mitch. And 10, 000, approximately 10,000 people died. Impossible to differentiate deaths from landslides from deaths due to flooding. Because, like I said, it's just a whole area there. Oh, and that was it. That's the catastrophic landslides of the 20th century. And I'm going to go get this uploaded while I have more coffee. And I will see you guys later.